It is another week at Frankie's Free Range Meat, and I wanted to apologize for the background noise, which will probably get a whole lot worse when we go inside. My third replacement microphone is not working, but hopefully just for this week. Uh, so I'm going to give you guys an update on what's going on with the farm, the slaughterhouse business-wise. Uh, we got a couple products back in stock, mainly the lamb organs, liver, heart, kidney, a couple new cuts here and there, but I'm trying to keep stuff as, you know, with the supply issues. Uh, it, it's tough to keep everyone happy, but uh, we got all the water key for orders out today. So if you guys want to order 50 more, go ahead and I'll be losing my mind for another week. But let me just take you guys around a little bit, show you my lunch, and then we'll talk about the farm and stuff. I'll have to give you guys a day of eating update, but I have incorporated cauliflower and artichokes into the diet. So there's some artichoke hearts in here, a little bit of 93.7 ground beef. Cauliflower, brown rice, water kefir. This is the enzymes and antimicrobials. And I have some cookies as well. As I said before, I only do this like once a week because it's a pain to pack all this stuff up. But you know, Monday is a longer day, so I need the energy to be down here. Now I was eating this jerky and stuff and getting sick. Chocolate was making me break out, so not ideal. Uh, this week we were actually giving away the extra chocolate best bar. Uh, so if you guys place an order today or tomorrow, you will still get the extra chocolate. I think we'll do berry next week. We got the new packing slips. I might get something else to throw in there for you guys. Everybody got most of the orders done for today. You know, I usually come in Saturday, Sunday, get most of the orders ready to go in these crates. Uh, but we still got about 15 more to fill. Pork lards in stock, Wagyu beef towels in stock. I'm going to try to get the regular beef towel in stock this week. So here is... Camel brisket, they're pretty big. I think I'll list them today and I'll see if some of you guys want to try these out. Um, you know, this was sent to me unexpectedly, but it still looks, you know, like pretty good stuff. And, you know, it's red meat, it's brisket. It's got to taste good, right? Main reason I'm showing you guys that is because there's only like four of them. And because of the limited availability, it's not something I want to stock. You know, generally when I carry a product, I like to have, you know, four, five, six different cuts that are available consistently. That being said, uh, I'm going to try to get some venison in this week and there's a, a couple things here and there that you guys like that, you know, I'm not necessarily looking to carry long term. So it's getting warmer in New York, although it is raining outside today, it's, it's definitely a lot nicer. You know, it was really, really sunny and beautiful the past week, but then uh, they sprayed some stuff in the air and it suddenly started raining. What a surprise. I know a lot of you guys have been looking forward to the raw dairy, the pasture-raised eggs, and as much as I really want to do that, uh, you know, the Amish farmers did not pull through. It was just too much of a nightmare to work with them. And once I actually get that slaughterhouse up and running, once I have all of the cuts of beef completely in stock every single week out of the year, and once I have the value-added products going, the jerky, the pemmican back, once I can buy local pork, local chicken, have the feed the quality that I'm happy with, have all the variety of cuts for you know the big three beef pork and chicken then i can take that next step into you know expanding you know do we want to do roast beef do we want to do bacon really get the meat set in stone and once the revenue is coming in from that slaughterhouse operation you know a small farm to produce dairy and eggs i will easily be able to payroll that get that up and running incredibly quickly have complete control over that operation Every single thing I've tried to do so far, there's too many hands involved. This is going to completely transform everything. You know, get fresh meat in on a consistent weekly basis. No problem, no issue whatsoever. And I'm sure, you know, we're gonna at least double to triple our customer base in the process of those few first months of that slaughterhouse running once people see, you know, me in there filming videos, all that type of stuff. You know, working with those Amish farmers to try to get the dairy and the eggs was just way, way, way too difficult. You know, in order to pay them enough money to make it worth it, you know, we weren't really gonna make anything. And then the reliability of those Amish people to bring in the dairy and the eggs on a consistent basis for the volume that we need. You know, those Amish do things on a very small scale for the most part. And the ones that are doing it on a larger scale don't exactly have the quality of feed we're looking for and they can't just switch over you know within i would say two to three weeks i should have some answers back from uh, some banks that i reached out to 
uh, for a small business loan. I'm having my accountant get together the 2020 tax return, the profit and loss for the other businesses to show my income. And it's looking like I should get an amount approved to build a slaughterhouse. Now, that <laughs> it could be a pretty long period of time, which I'm not really looking forward to, but the sooner I get it started, the sooner it's gonna be done. It's probably a year, a year and a half of construction, and then a couple of months to actually get a USDA permit, which is uh, something I don't really wanna think about right now. It might be a little difficult, but that, that's the next major step. In the meantime, I've been able to find some distributors, some farmers that are offering higher quality products at reasonable prices. And what I'm doing, and what you guys might have noticed on the website is, that there's a couple of cuts newly available in different sizes. I'm trying to make the portion sizes smaller so a lot of you guys you know, can just get a few things here and there and know a lot of people are on a budget and I am keeping that in mind. You know, I'm trying not to raise prices on certain cuts like ribeye and strip uh, that people want to keep in their diet even though you know, meat prices are skyrocketing going through the roof. So I mentioned the lamb products getting back in stock. Uh, we have the goat testicles. I'm getting a couple meat shipments in uh, tomorrow as well as later this week. And I'm trying to get the beef organs back in stock for next week. Uh, so definitely keep an eye out for that. If you guys really want the marrow bones, let me know. I'm having a difficult time sourcing them, so I might have to uh, go back to cutting them ourselves with a bandsaw, which I didn't really want to do until we were in the slaughterhouse, but it's fine. So I got to get back to work, uh, finish things up for today. You know, it's nothing too crazy, but you know, coming in every single day, seven days a week, having to film a YouTube video on top of that, filming orders for all the other businesses, and, and just not having things work out, like procuring products, trying to get this, trying to get that. You know, it's definitely not easy. Uh, so if you guys could please drop a like on the video, uh, leave a comment down below. Please let me know if you know there's any products you guys are unhappy with, if there's any products you guys would really like me to get in stock. I know we haven't had the fresh meat in a while and it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to do that anytime soon. Uh, make sure to subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week and click that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again for joining me guys. I'll see you tomorrow. I changed my mind. I told myself I was gonna be nice for YouTube, but I fucking hate this shit. I'm freezing my dick off in this freezer. I didn't get one ounce of sleep last night. I was so tired. I came down here at six in the morning to get an ice delivery and I slept in the basement for an hour just because I was so exhausted. Dude, I was so fucking tired this weekend. I had two girls hit me up to pound their stupid ass. The, the point is, you know what I did Friday night? I fucking went to bed early. That's what I fuck, and that's what I did fucking Saturday night too. That's how fucking tired I was. That's how much my back hurt from hauling around these stupid fucking, you know how heavy this shit is? This shit's 110 fucking pounds. That's like as much as I weigh. I'm not built for this shit. I'm supposed to be fucking looking pretty on YouTube. This freezer's a goddamn fucking mess. I'm getting bills from a different place every week. Oh, you owe FedEx $9,000. You owe this meat company $20,000. Really? Really? How much fucking money went missing that I'm still owing these fucking companies money? This is fucking stupid. Dude, I, I don't even have time to eat. I eat like every other fucking day. I, I'm so... Like, I don't even have time to fucking eat. Like, because I had to film this dumb fucking video, I don't have time to eat my lunch. I'm fucking exhausted. I'm sick of this shit. I gotta wait till fucking three hours to go home and heat something up. I gotta sit in traffic because the fucking New York City is a shithole. You know what, Tascam? I don't know how the fuck you say your stupid company name. This is the third goddamn, like, fourth one I bought from you guys. That's $200 and not one of them fucking work, okay? We we'll don't have to pay three, four, five hundred. Just send me something that fucking works. Because now my viewers have to listen to this godforsaken fucking noise as much as I do. Unbelievable. You, you guys have no idea how much shit I had to cut out that I just said. So do me a favor. Go to frankie's Buy a steak before my fucking heart explodes or something.